Hello and welcome to our course in College Algebra. My name is Dr. Tom McNamara and I will be the instructor. So for our first video, what I would like to discuss is why you would want to study College Algebra. In other words, what's the point? What are you supposed to get out of this class? And in my opinion, this class is all about functions. So that immediately raises the question, why would you want to learn about functions? What's so important about functions? Now, functions, to borrow a uh, phrase from Tom Garrity, functions are used to describe the world, really, but what we're going to do is we're going to do relationships between quantities. Okay, so functions are our best mathematical tool for describing how different quantities are related. And over this course we will do lots of different examples of different types of functions and the various situations that they can help us model or understand better. Let's look at a really simple example for a relationship between two quantities. Okay, so in this example we will look at um, the cost of filling up your tank with gas. As of today, gas costs about $2.80 per gallon. Okay, so the cost of filling your tank is related to the number gallons pumped. Okay, so we have two related quantities here and functions are the tool that we will use to help us describe this relationship. Now, there are really three parts to a function. What you need here is a set of input values. Okay, the fancy name for this set is the domain of the function. In this example, the domain would be how many gallons you pump into the tank. You also have a set of output values. The fancy name for the set of output values is the range of the function. In this case, we're relating the number of gallons pumped to the cost in dollars. So your input is number of gallons, your output is cost in dollars, and then we have a rule telling us how to take one of these input values and figure out what output value is related to that input value. And in this case, it's fairly easy to see that if you want to figure out the cost, you would take the number of gallons that you pump into your tank and multiply it by 2.8. Okay? So, very easy to understand the concept of a function as a rule for taking your input and figuring out how it's related to your output. Now, 
In this kind of function, increasing the input will always lead to an increase in the output. If you pump more gallons into that tank, you're going to have to pay more for doing that. But not every function needs to work like that. For example, let me take this little thing right here, something that we made in math club a little while back. If I were to take this little origami object and toss it up in the air, the height of the object depends on how long it has been since I have tossed it. So a function like this, where we take the input and multiply by a constant quantity, that won't work because in this kind of function, an increase in the input will always lead to an increase in the output. But as we can see right here, whoops, what we want is a function that increases and then decreases. Because as we can see, when I toss it, the object initially rises and then begins to fall. So we would need a different kind of function to describe that relationship. And we can come up with tons of different scenarios where we will need different types of behavior described, and that will lead us to different types of functions. So we'll discuss linear functions, absolute value functions, quadratic functions, more general polynomial functions, rational functions, exponential functions, and logarithmic functions throughout this course. And we'll also discuss what situations can be modeled by those various functions. So, what are we going to study in college algebra? We're going to study functions. Why are we studying functions? Because functions help us describe relationships. And by describing these relationships, we can get a better understanding of various situations that are going on. Okay? So in our next video, what we're going to discuss is a special notation that we have for writing down these rules that help us take the input values and get the output values.